from the Technology Center on the campus of Herkimer College. This is HCTV News, a student-produced newscast covering Herkimer County and the community it serves. Hello, I'm Miranda Laux, and welcome to HCTV News from Herkimer College. We're here every Tuesday afternoon this semester at 1 o'clock with this live newscast produced by students enrolled in Communication Arts Program here at Herkimer College. The Illion Fire Department is investigating the cause of a structural fire on West North Street last Wednesday afternoon. Firefighters arrived at the residence to find the attic engulfed in flames. According to Deputy Chief Tom Peterson, the first and second floor of the home suffered minimal damage, with the attic taking the most destruction. The couple living on the first floor did not suffer any injuries and found temporary shelter for the night. Here at Herkimer College, the staff and faculty are always behind the scenes helping to guide students in the right path. This is particularly true for one professor, Kalman Sokoloff, who has recently announced his retirement from Herkimer College. Reporter Justin Dunham got to sit down with Mr. Sokoloff and discuss his feelings on leaving and the impact he's made at the college. Herkimer Community College is home to many great programs taught by outstanding professors. And one of those professors, a teacher of the Communication Arts Program, Kalman Sokoloff, is retiring this year in December. I've been working at Herkimer College a little over 38 years. I started on August 20th, 1979. I've known Kalman Sokoloff for all of the 27 years I've taught here. He is much more to me than a colleague. I consider him to be one of the smartest people on this campus, um, a voice for what is right academically, and I'm proud to call him a friend as well. I get the chance to do something I like to do. Essentially, they pay me to talk to people and play with toys, and I get to do it with people I like. The, my fellow faculty are terrific folks and you know, get to work with students, see them grow. The impending retirement of Mr. Sokoloff means the loss of one of the bright lights on this campus. There's no doubt about it in my mind. He will be sorely missed, even as I wish him well in his retirement. It's really uh, well earned. Right now I'm thinking of it as an extended vacation, but, and I've always enjoyed my vacations. <laughs> So I don't know how I'm going to feel if I'll miss, I know I'll miss being able to interact with the people here on the regular basis that I do now, but we'll see. Common Sokoloff will be missed by students and faculty alike as he retires from Herkimer Community College, but we wish him the best moving forward. No, he's looking at the sheet. With fall semester coming to an end, the time for registration is now. All Herkimer College students must meet with their academic advisor to have the hold lifted to then be able to register for classes. For questions on advisement or registration for the spring semester, the registrar's office can be reached at 315-574-4037. There's more news straight ahead after this break during HGTV News. I'm Miranda Laux. Michaela Mayolo will join us after the break with your complete weather forecast. Stay with us. Coming up next, the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas here on HGTV News. Stay with us. Make the right connections with your communication arts degree from Herkimer College. Interested in radio? Meant to DJ? Then Herkimer College's radio TV program is the program for you. Learn all about the radio industry, record your own show, or even produce a live one. The possibilities are endless. For more information about communication arts programs at Herkimer College, visit www.herkimer.edu. Families come in all sizes and shapes. Sometimes your friends are your family by choice. 
or sometimes move, you're move, just move, stuck move, with move, Uncle Charles. Move, move. But what we know is that you want to protect the people that are close to you. But the flu can unravel everything. Your flu vaccine protects you and your family. No matter what draws your family together, protect yourself, protect your family. Everyone needs a flu vaccine. Most party fouls are pretty dumb. But if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Underage drinking and driving, the ultimate party foul. Now, the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas, here on HCTV News. Welcome back to HGTV News, live from Herkimer College. I'm Miranda Laux. Michaela Mayolo has a look at our weather forecast. Michaela? Thanks, Miranda. Taking a look at our radar for the region, courtesy of weatherunderground.com, we can see that not much is really affecting our area. There's a warm front coming in, which means it might rise temperatures, but not that much to where it'll affect us. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we can expect for the rest of the evening here in Herkimer. So tonight we're going to expect a partly cloudy and a low of 40 degrees, which is a little bit warmer than what it's been the past few nights. Tomorrow there's going to be rain earlier, sunny later, and a high of 42 with a low of 20 degrees. On Thursday it's going to be cloudy with a little bit of rain, a high of 41, and a low of 33. And on Friday, there's going to be some snow showers, a high of 35, and a low of 26. And for our extended forecast, on Saturday, there's going to be a high of 38 degrees and a low of 27. On Sunday, there'll be some snow showers, a high of 35 and a low of 28. And on Monday, we can expect partly sunny skies, 38 degrees for a high and a 31 low. Okay, thanks, Michaela, for that weather update. We'll be back with more HGTV news right after this. Stay with us. No cell phone service, no television or internet connections, no electricity, and in some DEC Adirondack campgrounds, no roads either. Forked Lake is just one of the 52 campgrounds that you can explore in the Adirondack Mountains of New York State. This facility is a primitive camping experience. Each site is outfitted with just the basics. You've got to hike trails or paddle a canoe to get to each site, putting you right in the middle of the area's natural beauty. Too rustic for you? That's okay. The DEC offers a wide variety of experiences, including island camping, tent and trailer sites with electricity and running water, boat launch facilities, hiking trails, beaches, and more. And it's all just a click away. To find out more and to start planning for your next Adirondack adventure, log on to www.dec.ny.gov. You'll find all the information you need to start enjoying the great Adirondack outdoors in upstate New York. Hello and welcome back to HGTV News. I'm Miranda Laux. And I'm Michaela Mayolo. So Michaela, this weather. Yeah, it's pretty chilly. It's starting to get a little bit warmer, but the temperature is unfortunately going to go back down and we're going to see some snow. Tonight we're going to expect partly cloudy skies with a low of 40 degrees. And tomorrow it's going to be a little bit of rain, some sun, a high of 42 and a low of 20. On Thursday, it's going to be cloudy earlier in the day, a little bit of rain, a high of 41 degrees and a low of 33. 
Okay, thanks, Michaela, for that. That's it for HGTV News today. Just a reminder, HGTV News is here every Tuesday afternoon at 1 o'clock throughout this semester with encore presentations at 5 o'clock. Newscasts are also archived on our YouTube channel. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram. Just search Herkimer College Communication Arts. For more details on the communication arts programs offered here at Herkimer College, visit www.herkimer.edu slash communication arts. For all of us at HCTV News, I'm Miranda Laux. And I'm Michaela Maolo. Tune in again next Thursday at 1 o'clock for another edition of the award-winning HCTV News live from Herkimer College.